Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, September 24th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 5 in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 96, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 8 to 37, and Revelation chapter 4, verse 9, and chapter 5, verses 9 through 10 and 12. And now join me, please, in singing the first verse of Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, <clears throat> we sing to you a new song, all the earth sings to you. Hallelujah, Psalm 96, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, we sing a new song. All the earth sings to you. We sing to you and bless your name and proclaim your salvation from day to day. We declare your glory among the nations, your wonders among all peoples. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You are to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are but idols <clears throat> because it was you who made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before you. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We give you glory and strength. We give you the glory due your name. We bring offerings and come into your courts. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. <clears throat> All the earth trembles before you. We say among the nations that you reign. The world you established shall not be moved, and you judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all therein thunder praise. Let the field be joyful and all therein shout for joy. And then all the trees of the wood will rejoice before you. For you come, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the people with truth. <clears throat> Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. Hallelujah. A reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Now one day, Elisha was passing through Shunam, where a wealthy woman lived, who urged him to have a meal. So whenever he passed that way, he would stop there for a meal. She said to her husband, Look, I am sure that this man, who regularly passes our way, is a holy man of God. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls, and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, so that he can stay there whenever he comes to us. One day, when he came there, he went up to the chamber and lay down. And he said to his servant, Gehaze, Call the Shunammite woman. And when he had called her, she stood before him. And he said, Say to her, Since you have taken all this trouble for us, what may we do for you? Would you have a word spoken on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the army? She answered, I live among my own people. He said, What then may be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son, and her husband is old. He said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood at the door, and he said, At this season, in due time, you shall embrace a son. And she replied, No, my lord, O man of God, do not deceive your servant. And the woman conceived and bore a son at that season, in due time, 
as Elisha had declared to her. And when the child was older, he went out one day to his father among the reapers. And he complained to his father, Oh, my head, my head. The father said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. And he carried him and brought him to his mother. And the child sat on her lap until noon, and then he died. She went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and closed the door on him and left. Then she called to her husband and said, Send me one of the servants and one of the donkeys, so that I may quickly go up to the man of God and come back again. He said, Why go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It will be all right. And then she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Urge the animal on, do not hold back for me unless I tell you. And so she set out and she came to the man of God at Mount Carmel. When the man of God saw her coming, he said to Gehazi, his servant, Look, there is the Shunammite woman. Run at once to meet her and say to her, Are, are you all right? Is your husband all right? Is the child all right? She answered, It is all right. And then she came to the man of God at the mountain. She caught hold of his feet. Gehazi approached to push her away, but the man of God said, Let her alone, for she is in bitter distress. Yahweh has hidden it from me and has not told me. Then she said, I did I not ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, Do not mislead me? He said to Gehazi, Gird up your loins and take my staff in your hand, and go. If you meet anyone, give no greeting, and if anyone greets you, do not answer. And lay my staff on the face of the child. Then the mother of the child said, As Yahweh lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave without you. And so he rose up and followed her. Gehazi went on ahead and laid the staff on the face of the child, but there was no sound or sign of life. He came back to meet him and told him, The child has not awakened. When Elisha came into the house, he saw the child lying dead on his bed. And so he went in and closed the door on the two of them and prayed to Yahweh. And then he got up on the bed and he lay upon the child, putting his mouth upon his mouth his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands. And while he lay bent over him, the flesh of the child became warm. He got down and walked once to and fro in the room, and then he got up again and bent over him. The child sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Alicia summoned Gehazi and said, Call the Sunamite woman. And so he called her, and when she came to him, he said, Take your son. She came and fell at his feet, bowing to the ground, and then she took her son and left. When Elisha returned to Gilgal, there was a famine in the land. As the company of prophets was sitting before him, he said to his servant, Put the large pot on and make some stew for the company of prophets. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah! You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. 
You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you redeemed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made us to be rulers and priests to serve our God, and we will reign on earth. And worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.